Claremont is a naturally beautiful place. It is a vibrant urban forest. It has abundant and beautiful parks. It has amazing programming for children, for families, for seniors, and it has a very forward-thinking group of citizens that want to see policy at a very high level. But we are dealing with the immediate effects of climate change, increasing extreme weather, drought. We are also dealing with difficulty with resources, and it is a unique set of challenges for Claremont because we do have a fair amount of outdated infrastructure. The city of Claremont was faced with many challenges, including improving infrastructure, increased renewable generation, and trying to find funding for both. If the city would have used more traditional municipal financing ways of funding such a project, they would have had to either use general fund or look into their reserves. Fortunately, we were able to partner with TRAIN and enter into the energy services agreement where we were able to get all of these deferred maintenance items upgrade some sustainability features and get even more than what we would have ever been able to get if we would have had to fund them through traditional funding mechanisms. Energy efficiency is incredibly important for this project because it was the main means of funding this particular solution. And so we really needed to maximize the savings. But beyond that, energy efficiency was incredibly important to the city of Claremont. We have a very specific set of priorities through our own sustainability plan, which was adopted by our sustainability committee. One of the most immediate things is that we have to address the city's climate footprint. The city is reducing dependence on grid-based power by 55% and procuring the remaining power through the clean power lines. This results in all city facilities being 100% renewable power. I want the legacy of this project to serve as a model to other cities that you can accomplish today's needs while being both fiscally and environmentally responsible. We want to make sure we leave Claremont better than we found it, that it is here for our children, our children's children, and it's going to take some creative solutions to, to address these going forward.